Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I have two parcels today. One from Andy H97 over at the UK Lock Sport Forum, and another packet from R Ackers, who contacted me through YouTube in response to my videos recently on lock core shimming, and he sent an interesting device I want to show you. So uh, first, um, let's have a look at some locks. Uh, Andy H97 did tell me what was in here, so we have a challenge lock, um, which he has made from a five pin euro core. No key apparently. Um, won't be picking this on camera because I'll probably need to practice it, but thank you very much Andy H97. Let's uh, have a look inside. He also says there's a beat up Squire LP10, and he's not wrong, wow. That is properly beat up, isn't it? Look at that. So obviously the shackle's been, I think, probably pulled or snapped off or some horrible accident. Um, I wonder if these are chain marks where it's been kept on a chain, but definitely had been beat up. Let's um, grab a pick and see. I think these are five pins. Let's have a listen. Five, five pins. Um, some of these contain spools, so that'd be interesting to look at. Um, I'll go and just grab a tension wrench and have a go. So, let's see, uh, does it, I assume the core doesn't just open. No. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, so there's, a, there's like the locking pole here, but looks a bit damaged, probably, probably from whatever happened to the shackle. There's a bit here as well, let's have a look. So that one's more complete, and again, it does retract, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, let's have a go. Uh, let's do some light tension going at the back. Um, this is a Southord Max in 23 thousandths, um, 07B I think this one is. Pin 1, go back to the back again, pin 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I think I've overset something. Might have started again on that one. Funny these uh, little brass locks that had a bit of um, use in their life can throw your picking off a little bit, uh, especially when you haven't picked them before. Oh, and we've got an open. Okay, well, I can't show you the shackles open, but the, the lock course turned, so there we go. Um, nice little pick. Thank you, Andy H97. Going to pop these to one side. Um, not out of any disrespect, but more so I can show you what's in this package now. And this came with this item in it, made from um, an arrow, an actual arrow, I think. And this was a device for dispensing, um, I think it's made out of some aluminium arrow shafts. I know nothing about archery, so I've got, I don't really know which bit of the arrow this would have come from, um, but you can see uh, it's wood with some aluminium, and in it is a radio ID um, tag shim, so those tags you find on CDs um, and other things, um, I've seen some on expensive cards at a card shop, that kind of stuff. Inside are these very, very thin um, pieces of metal which people use as shims. Now. Our Akers has designed this so that you can um, um, more easily push the shim into the lock. So I have a, a half euro somewhere, I'll just put that there so you can see it, um, half euro somewhere with the circlip removed and here it is and it does unlock so the pins are, oh, the pins are um, obviously facing the top, that's the Bible, and I believe the aim with this is, is that you can just use your thumb to push the shim into the lock like this, so it sort of keeps its shape. And there we go. So 
seems to work very, very, very well. Um, in in terms of you know uh, being able to to uh, push this very thin piece of metal or guide it into the uh, lock core itself, um, I can always you know finish it off by pushing it in my fingers. But those those pieces of metal are very, very wafer thin, and actually being able to sort of dispense it from this device is actually pretty cool. And you see that um, it keeps the curve of the arrow shaft as well as you sort of push it out into the lock, um, which helps it to, can you see that? Helps it to, to guide into the uh, back of the lock itself. So yeah, that's a cool little device. Um, I think that's how it was designed to work anyway, um, just allow you to sort of marry the two things together and um, just slide that in. Um, otherwise you'd end up having to sort of do it by hand and that's it's just a bit more awkward very because these these um, sort of very 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 thin shim material buckle extremely easily so like I said you can if you line it up to the back of the lock and just um, gently oh, do that you can see that it aligns brilliantly and you can at least get the the tip in, and it will allow you to uh, to get the shim even further in using your fingers. So yeah, really nice little gadget this one. So thank you, Art Ackers, for sending that to me. I like to see a bit of innovation in uh, in lock sport, um, and I love the fact this is made out of an arrow shaft. Okay, so some lovely little packages there today. Hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.